Hi everyone, hope all is well. My name is Rhonda, I am an author. I have written four books and I help inspiring writers who desire to write books become authors, as well as teaching them marketing tips on how they can market their books, as well as to become their own boss. And today I wanted to come with you from my whole series that I have, Who Wants to Be an Author, which is coming from my book. I call it The Little Black Book. I pretty much wanted to make it very simple and easy for the readers can understand and pretty much get their books published because it's easy, nothing hard, but I do believe there's levels, there's things you have to do and be in place, be organized and just make sure you're putting out quality work. So today I just wanted to talk about the power of our words because I believe that our words have power and I know in the Bible it talks about life and death is in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruits. So I just wanted to come to you today um, just to talk about just a powerful affirmations that I have put in this book. Not only do I just want to um, share content, but I also want to make sure that I'm affirming you, I'm encouraging you, I'm helping you to not only just share content but as as well as be encouraged and speak great things of yourself because you are great you're amazing and you want to speak these things and i know sometimes as writers you could be going through things in the process of writing and you may not feel encouraged to continue to press on which is why um, it's a section in my book when I talk about your why, your why is your reason of why you want to write a book so that when life happens, situations happen, you continue to press on. But I wanted to put affirmations in there because, like I said, affirmations are very powerful. And when you speak the right things over yourself daily, not just one time, and your actions as well as your mindset have to line up with what you said, I believe powerful things will happen for you and your situation will turn around. I believe someone said, um, if you're not liking the life that you're living, you're not liking where you are, start claiming, like start declaring. What are you speaking over yourself? Because if you're speaking negative things, that's what you're gonna get. But when you start speaking life, start speaking to life, to every area of your life, watch how you see things prosper for you. So I wanted to come to you today. I call this an Arthur's Daily Affirmation. And I want you to say this every day. Use this affirmation and believe that these things are for you. So I wanted you to repeat after me and you can say this every day. I am a New York Times best-selling Arthur. Yes, you are. It is very possible. I am a New York Times best-selling author. My books are highly requested around the world. I am grateful that my books makes a difference in the lives of all those who purchase my books. I am task-driven. I am grateful. I am still a work in progress, but it's cool. I don't constantly have to have it all together. I'm on a journey to becoming better. I write books that others can relate to. I am destined for greatness. My talent as a writer makes room for me and brings me before a great man. I have so much wisdom to share with others. Let me say that again. I have so much wisdom to share with others. And I wanted to stop and go back to where I said, I am still a work in progress, but it's cool. I don't constantly have it all together. I'm on a journey to becoming better. And I just wanted to remind you inspiring writers, especially those who desire to write self-help books, to write books based on your story. You do not have to have it all together. I don't think we ever will be perfect. We're not called to be perfect, but we call to strive to be perfect. And that takes consistent, being consistent and daily renewing your mind and your attitude. 
And I just wanted to encourage someone today that if you feel like, well, before I write my book, I got to have it all together. I got to be in this mindset. No, start writing because I promise you, your healing is going to come in your writing. And in the Bible, it talks about in the book of Revelation, and they overcame by the word of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. And I remember in my book, my second book, Bittersweet, A Single Woman's Guide to Being Happy and Hold Again. And I did not feel encouraged to write the book. I pretty much sat on that book for a very long time. And God was pressing upon my heart to um, put it out. And I just was like, Lord, how can I put out a book? And I'm not encouraged. And how can I encourage people? And he was like, if you put that book out, I promise you, as you begin to share your testimony, I'm going to heal you in those areas where you felt broken. And I was like, Lord, I don't feel whole. And he was like, you are whole. And that's why I like to talk about the power of what you say. Because we could be speaking one thing and God is saying, no, this is what I called you to be. No, this is who you are. So I want you to be mindful of what you're speaking over yourself. And these are just a few things that I put in there as affirmations, but you can always go back and write your affirmations, what represent you or what you know God is speaking to you, your lifestyle. But I just wanted you to understand that you don't always have to have it all together, but your story matters to someone and you have to get it out. Don't sit on another book again. If God giving you the desire to write a book, um, somebody's going to buy it. Somebody's going to hear about your story because your testimony, the things that you've been through, it was not in vain. God didn't call you this far to just leave you. And you just got to have faith that when you step out, when you write the book, that things are going to work for you. It may not work instantly, but just know that it's going to work and you got to be consistent um, being consistent is one of the main things that how most successful people remain successful. You got to be consistent. You got to put yourself out there. You got to do it sometime afraid. I remember watching uh, a video with Taraji P when she talks about when she take roles, she don't take any type of acting roles where is she's feel comfortable but she take the ones where it makes her uncomfortable but even when she's afraid she still do it in fear so i want you to just take some time meditate and just truly um examine yourself what areas in your life where you feel like you don't have it all together what areas you feel stuck in and i promise you as you start journaling your thoughts and just writing it down, you're gonna become better. So if you have any questions for me, um, please drop it in the comments. I hope this message encouraged you. You guys make sure you say these affirmations every day. I know it's gonna help you. I know that you who are reading this, you who are listening to this, you're gonna be great best-selling authors. And I just can't wait to come back and just hear all the testimonies of all the people who've listened to this video and how you was inspired and how you stepped out in faith and it just happened for you so thank you for watching continue to tune in make sure you like and subscribe to the channel as i share more videos more content and if you have any other questions any videos you'll like for me to make um explaining anything when it comes to writing i would love to make sure you share this with someone you know who needs to hear it thank you